Good afternoon and welcome. It's Friday again and it's one o'clock. So that means one thing, we have got our Craft World Live. So very, very exciting today. We've got a brand new collection to show you and it's from Simply Made Crafts. So we have got the lovely Helen with us. Of course, she is the designer of all of these. She has got some amazing samples to show you. But just like every live we do, we've got brilliant offers and deals using this collection for you. So first of all, if you are going to be spending £30 on this collection today on Craft Stash, you're going to be able to get a free stamp set. And I think there's two to choose from as well. One of them being the new ones, which are beautiful. I'm going to go through all of these with you in a moment, but that's one of the offers. Now, if you can't hang around for the whole hour, don't forget to check that bargain section on Craft Stash because everything that I'm talking about in the show is going to be listed in there almost everything anyway. Um, we've got lots of deals and things running across the bottom of the screen too, but I need to first of all say hello to a few people. So let's see who's watching with us. Loads of you already actually. Um, I'm sure you're all waiting to see Helen and her demonstrations, which is going to be so fun. So hello to Mandy, hello to Debbie, hello to uh, Michelle Woods. We've got Pippa Smith, sorry, I should go back. Mandy Hobden and where are you? Debbie Seeley, there we go. So we're doing full names today. Uh, Da, da, da. Tracy Ray, I was going to start listing some of our staff names so they know who they are. Hello to everyone. Um, we've got Catherine Batchelor, Debbie, Debbie uh, Plowman. Oh, I get my names. Deborah Plowman. Um, where are you all watching from? Oh, there you go. So Mandy is from West Sussex. It is absolutely beautiful weather today. I hope it is for everyone else too. Um, I'm going to dive right in because I know Helen's got so, so much to show us. So first thing to do is to actually jump over and see Helen and see what sh what sort of things she might be making. So, Helen, hello. Hi. Hello. It's lovely, lovely to see you. Um, could you show us, first of all, I'm going to show the product in a little while. So could you, first of all, show us what we could be making with your new collection and how okay. it came about? Yes. So this is featuring photographs, a documentary of photographs and actually helping you to get started because a lot of people kind of don't get started because I don't know you know where to start so we've made some really easy fun projects for you to just put your photos in and get started on that so the first one here would be this camera box here beautiful go. and I've teamed it with the shutter die that was released back in January so um, if we open this up it opens up like that That's, I love that see there's something inside there so we're welcoming a brand new mini album size to our album family. So there is a mini album that fits in there. So here it is. That's gorgeous. And it just opens up. So it does team with the small binding. So that small binding is going to work with most of our albums. And um, each page is a pocket. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. And you get Amazing. everything in there. So you even get the inserts for each pocket as well. Fantastic. Okay. So that's the album. And that fits inside the camera box. Okay. So next we have the suitcase die. I don't know which one to show you first. Because we have um, a memory index card system that is going to fit inside this suitcase. Now, this, this suitcase was released um, a little while ago. I can't remember what month it was. Um, it must have been Ooh. March or April time. Yeah, so it, was, yeah is, it wasn't that long ago, was it? So this is now back in stock and we have an additions that go with it. So it's a brand new memory card index system. It's this, oops, I need a third pair of hands here. <laughs> okay, so here it is. And the cards all slide on and they slide on the track. So just, oh, wow. just to help you understand, I have a half one here. Great. Here it is. So we have all of these index cards in here. And in the in the die set, you get the die to make the track that it runs on and also different sized cards as well. So I have loads in there already. Fantastic. So just a, a closer look at this new system. Here is the track. It's okay. A unique shape. And this is one of the cards. And it just slides it's, across. It's just like the library catalogue cards, isn't it? it? Is. So you can use this for your memory keeping. You can use this for your swatches. If you have loads of colours and sprays and inks, you can just flick through everything. Brilliant. And 
they don't fall off. Oh, of course, either. that's why it's that so, shape. Like, I was sort of thinking, why is it that shape? That's so clever. So this is a really good memory system, and I'm going to be using this a lot in yeah. all of my, my videos and new projects. So Fantastic. this is probably one of my favourites. Okay, so we also have some frame box dies here as well. So I have a five by seven and a six by four. So this mm -hmm. will be the, the five by seven, mm -hmm. and the smaller one will be the six by four. And what I've done is I've glued them all together. This is really simple and easy um, frame box to actually put together as well. I've had lots of different people actually say to me that it was easy to do. So um, I'm really happy about that one. And it takes a five by seven photograph um, or a six by four photograph. And what so is that? the pink in the background is that's one of your papers isn't it it is it's from my new paper pack so Ooh, it's a i'm not rushing you a lot I just, I just think <laughs> i thought i recognized that so let me hold this up for you i have just the front cover here i've almost used all of the papers now so this is the new paper pack i'm I've not sure if that is that showing time. in reverse i'm not sure if that no is. no no it's that's a, well it right looks way. fine hang on no, it looks good to me. It's perfect. Oh, okay, lovely. So we have loads of different um, textures here. We have animal skins. We have the faux leather look, the mock croc, denim. And we also have the knitted patterns as well, for babies as Great. well. So there's so many, you know, different things here. And I've almost used all of the pad up now. So, <laughs> okay, so that's a 12 by 12. And that is... Um, 250 gsm so that is quite thick as well so it's going to be nice and sturdy and Perfect then here's for another your boxes and things here's another one of my favorite <laughs> this is the hexagonal exploding box so mm -hmm. you can use this as a gift box or as a, a memory storage so when we open it up oh wow i love those it opens up like this i've and never seen one again. that shape either Oh, and so, there's another one. It's like these Russian dolls, isn't it? Yes, it is. So here we have another layer as well. One of my photos just fell out. but oh, That's gorgeous. And we keep going. And you keep going. Keep going. <laughs> and you get everything in here for the mats, the lids, the base. And we even have frames here that you can slide your pictures wow. in and out. Wow. And that's all, that's all one set, is it? It's all one complete set. And then I've just put a box. So you also get in the set just in the centre here as well. So you could put a keepsake in there, a baby's first booties, and it's yeah. all kept in the same place. So you don't even have to have the lids for everything. You can just have the lid just for the, the centre. But I have made lids for an example yeah. for every single layer there. And does that take long to put together? Um, it is one of the longer projects that I have here. But um, if you're quite smart with your die cutting, so... Mm -hmm. This all will fit through a uh, standard size, um, like Big Shot, for example. Um, but if you have a, a wide, a wider one, so it takes A4, then you can get really clever with how you die cut. So you would put all of your um, dies for each size on your sheet. Mm -hmm. I think we just lost Helen there briefly. So I'll just wait for her to come back. Um, fingers crossed that we're okay. I'm That's hoping fun. you've still got me. Um, I can you almost hear her. You oh, we can hear her again. Let's now. come back. Hang on. We just had to come back um, to you because we lost you for a moment. But you're back now. Okay. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so where did I get up to? Uh, so, yeah, you can die cut everything out and yeah. be done in about half, half an hour if you do it step by step like that. Perfect. Okay. Fantastic. So that's not the only thing you can do with that hexagon box. You also get a side panel so you can join all of your sides together to make just a normal box. Great. Lovely. That's So gift boxes, uh, memory books, all of these in that one die set. Absolutely. Yes. Fantastic. That's amazing. Now, I've got here uh, eight die sets, a set of stamps and the paper pad. So okay. you've got a lot in this new collection. Shall I show everybody what we've got um, and then come back to uh, demonstration, the yes. best bit? <laughs> yes, I'll get ready for that now. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you very much. So I have got down here, as I said, I've got that new collection in my hands. I'm very, very lucky. So this is what we are looking at. Um, now, that die set that Helen was just showing us, the exploding box, that's this one. So this is the one die set that you need. Absolutely amazing that everything is in this one set. So as you can see here, the pieces, um, I mean, Helen can talk us through the die cutting machines, the sizes, things like that, that we need. But 
this one set to create everything she's been showing us with the hexagonal shapes is absolutely amazing so we've got this now don't forget like i say if you're spending over 30 pounds on this brand new collection today on craft stash you're going to be able to get a um a stamp set now the stamp set is going to be either this one or i believe there's another one as well so it'll be one of the two that will be coming your way but this is absolutely amazing i love this because we've got that focus i've got the word focus in my head uh, we've got the theme of photography in here with the snapshot um but we've got it's such a perfect day adjust your focus looking good uh, we just click i love these because they're sentiments that i wouldn't have thought of using before but i think they just fit absolutely perfectly and not just for photography themes either for every day so that's that stamp set there now many of these are actually bundled if you go into the bargain section on craft stash you'll see that a lot of these are bundled with uh, die sets that match them perfectly so for example there's some uh, the edition set that helen was talking about uh, you can now buy the editions and the main die set together at an amazing amazing price so we've also got the camera box die set as well again everything to make that camera remember that really clever camera with the moving element that is in this set so this is camera box die set there's 40 dies in here 40 dies and it's all kinetic it's all moving um and helen's going to hopefully show us how to put something like that together if not today i'm sure she would do as a video so you're never left on your own then we have a mini album set now we again we saw a mini album now i'm right in thinking helen is watching and we can still hear her i think Helen, am I right in thinking this is the mini album die set that fits inside the camera box? Yes, it does, yes. Thank you very much. She, see, she's still in the background. She's still listening. <laughs> um, so we've got all of that mini album. But if you don't want to do the camera, maybe, maybe you just want an album for everyday use, this is the one to go, along with pockets and tags and things as well. Then we have that 5 by 7 box frame die set. Now we have two of these. I'm going to show these together because we also have the 6 by 4 Now they're available separately, but Helen was showing us that beautiful home decor piece that she's made. Um, and I believe, Helen, did you use the two different sizes for that piece? Yes, I did. Yes, they're uh, two different sizes glued together. Excellent. So I think she, it was the uh, 5 by 7 in the middle. It's yes, it was, yeah. Above. So you can see how you can put these together looking at this it looks really really simple so you've got your one panel and you just cut that twice and put one on top of the other fold the fold the edges you've got that beautiful frame and then you've got these amazing words as well that are going to sit so you've got love and baby with six by four and you've got family and friends with the five by seven so let's just pop them to the side and then we've also got some additions or some accessories so we've got the baby accessories so of course babies are being born every day what's that program it's the one born every second or something or every minute i'm not sure they're coming along all the time so you're always going to be using these whether it's for yourself for friends and family um maybe it's for memory things as well not just for gifts when babies are born i absolutely love documenting when my children were little um because we i didn't have mobile phones then i don't have their photos on my phone i have them sitting in albums so i love to make things using elements like this to remember those times and keep those photos safe as well we then also have the luggage edition set. Now, Helen was showing us that like that catalog um, slider element where it was really clever because she turned it upside down and the, and the cards didn't fall out. So this is what you can make. So you can do them with the two rails as such or the two tracks to sit on or the single ones in different sizes. So that's perfect to go with that suitcase die. And this is also in a bundle. on Under the bargain section, you'll find this with that suitcase die in a bundle so you can pick both up at an amazing price. And then we have the split box editions die set. So this, the split box you'll have seen again from a previous collection. The editions is now out and we've got these extra elements as well. And I'm sure Helen can talk, us about, talk to us about these later on too. But again, have a look on that bargain section because you'll find these and you'll find the bundle. Now, I promise to have a quick look through these papers before we go to Helen, probably for the rest of the hour because I know she's got a lot to show us. These papers are absolutely beautiful. They are stunning. So as she said, 250 GSM. So that is a good weight of paper or cardstock, if you prefer to call it card. 
Um, double sided as well. They smell amazing. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm, I'm definitely one for smelling my paper to know the quality. Uh, the better they smell, the better quality they are. Look at these animal prints, animal skins, wood grain as well. So we really are talking lots of different textures here. We've got the paler wood grain too. There's that knit that I recognised in that frame that Helen showed us a little while ago. And we've got the blue version. How perfect is that for babies? Absolutely beautiful. We've got leather too. We've got the brown and the black there. So there's that brown. How realistic does that look? It's stunning, isn't it? It looks like you, you touch it and you expect it to feel like fabric. So we've got the denim as well. And on this side, it's like you're, you're grungy. It almost looks like concrete, this one, which is going to be perfect for your masculine cards. And then we're going to repeat through the patterns again. So you are getting two of each there. This is fantastic. Of course, 12 by 12 is going to be absolutely perfect for covering up those three dimensional makes that you're doing. So now I've shown you everything that's in the brand new collection. And don't forget, if you're spending over £30 on Craft Stash, you're going to be able to pick up one of the stamp sets completely free. Um, and also, I have to remind you, and I know I talk about this a lot because I am in love with it, on Craft World, hello if you're watching from Craft World as well, um, if you're a premium member, you're getting that extra 10% off everything, okay? So don't forget that. It's well worth being a premium member just for that 10% off. Let's come back to Helen and let's see. I think she's ready. We're looking down at her desk as well. So, hello, Helen. We're back with hello. you. Hello. So I'm okay. going to let you take over now, really. I'm still here, but I'm going to let you take over and do your demonstrations, do your thing. Okay. So, welcome to my craft room. This is where everything is born. And this is the actual desk where this camera box was made. Just here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So... The two die sets we're going to be using for the first demo is the camera box die set. And as, you, as Lou said, 40 dies in here. There's so much. And what I've done to help me organize this is I've just added in a magnetic sheet to keep everything organized. I don't do that with all of my die sets, but for this particular one, I popped one in there just to keep everything there mm -hmm. and easily accessible. Okay, and I'll also be teaming this with the shutter box die set. Now this is back in stock. Now it did sell out, but it's back in stock and I have my shutter already made. So that opens and closes just like that. And if you need a tutorial for this one, there is one on my YouTube, which is Helen Griffin UK. And I believe there is also one on the Craft Stash YouTube channel as well. So there's plenty of tutorials on how to get this shutter together. So we're just going to be adding that to our camera box. So let's go through with everything that we're going to be needing to put our camera box together. So I have all of my die cuts out ready for this one because this is um, a lot of die cutting here. So you probably spend about 20 minutes die cutting and then you're ready to kind of just do everything. So in the die set, you also get all of the mats for everything as well. So this is going to be your top and bottom. This is going to be your front and your back. And then we have side pieces. So we have the slimmer ones and then the slightly wider ones. So you need four of the wider ones, two of the slimmer ones. And then I have a various amount here of these tabs, these are for the top. And then this funny section here, this is going to be our camera flash at the top. So I have one of the mats made out of the silver mirror card. That's really clever with the mirror card. So it looks like it's that reflective. It makes it really um, quite realistic. And we've also added in, let me just grab this. We've also added in these star bursts as well. So you can add those onto your cameras, like around the lens and also around the flash. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's get assembling. So um, red tape would be quicker for this, but I'm just going to go with glue. So we're going to start with the bottom piece. And then we're going to add our first one. So all I'm going to do is just glue that to the underside. So I'm going to go all the way around. So let's quickly add the glue. I'm going to be using Cosmic Shimmer today. So, so Cosmic Shimmer is actually... Wider piece. Sorry, I just spoke over you. Um, Cosmic Shimmer and Hot Glue Guns are all on offer today. So you've got amazing prices on them in that bargain section, just because we know how much you like to use them and how well they'll work with your dies. Okay, so I'm adding the glue to the longer section and it's the shorter section 
that is going to make the side. So all of the sides have the tabs on as well. If you're watching, Hannah, and you've got friends on Facebook, please make sure you're sharing the live. So um, simply hit the share button on Facebook and that will let all your friends know you're watching and they can all join us as well so they don't miss Helen's amazing demonstrations. And tag your friends too. Do that little at, at whoever and tag them and let them know. Give them a nudge, remind them. <laughs> so after this, we put this live on YouTube. We always put the demonstration on YouTube later on. Um, but is there anywhere else we can see you demonstrating um, these products, Helen? Yes. So I do have a YouTube channel. Um, it's Helen Griffin UK. Great. And uh, I will recognise a few faces from here that also um, come along as well. So I go live every Saturday night. And last week, the last Saturday just gone, we made this memory suitcase. So go to my channel and you'll find that tutorial there. Helen Griffin UK. Helen Griffin UK. Lovely. Perfect. So I'm sure you'll get loads more subscribers now. <laughs> and there's also available on my channel the um, the Hexagon Exploding Box 2, this one here. So there is also a full tutorial on that box too. Brilliant. So I'm just putting all of these sides on. So it's going to look a bit like a squashed spider. That's okay. <laughs> There's no one afraid of spiders here, is there? <laughs> Sorry? Is there anyone afraid of spiders here? Um, I don't think enough to turn off, definitely. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going up to the score line on this, making sure that it, it folds upwards. I've had to close the curtain slightly in here today, so I'm having trouble seeing the score lines. Oh, is it quite dark where you are now? Uh, yeah, um, I've had to close the curtains because it's so hot. It's 28 degrees in, in this room. So so whereabouts in the country are you? I know I'm, this, in, but... I'm in the southeast. I'm about 20, 25 minutes up from London on the train. Not so it's far. not too far, but it's still very hot down here. I know you're just literally to the, the west of me. So yeah. I don't know, so the east. The, yeah, um, I yeah I'm as east as you can go. East. <laughs> okay. So we're now ready to put that through. I did one fake, one mistake. So let's take this off. Also, you can just I've, do that for a little while. I will glue this back on because this is the part that I always forget about. <laughs> we, we all do it. Don't worry. I know. Okay. So where's the die set? So in this die set here, there is a circle. With this circle here. Mm -hmm. and that's the exact size you're going to be needing to pop on your shutter. Okay. So let's run this through the machine. Lovely. So while you're running that through, I just remind everyone, um, obviously we've got Helen's brand new snapshot collection today that we're launching. Um, you can see Helen demonstrating now. You can see all the products over on the website as well. But we also have, of course, a deal of the day. Every single day there's a new deal. Um, and today it's the tonics, a tonic die set. So make sure you're checking that out because that's gone down from 19.99 down to 12.49. So that's a huge reduction. And that's the Victorian Bloom set. So again, that's something you're going to find in that bargain section. Okay, so I've cut a hole in the center. And I'm just gonna pop this back on. So if you're doing this, just remember to put your hole in after you've put your mat on, but before you put it together. Mm -hmm. That's something I just do, even when I'm not filming, I just, when I'm just yep. crafting normally. Yep, absolutely, because you're not putting the mat on with foam pads, are you, just glue down flat? No. I love that okay. paper as well. Yes, so I'll show you the pads in this. This is from a previous release. This is the Travel Keepsakes. It's oh, like one of, of my most favorite. It pairs with um, the tropical memories as well, which is what this camera beautiful was yeah. was made with. So these are my two most favourite travel papers. They're gorgeous. They really are. There. Okay, so what I've done is I've tried to keep the pattern repeating, so it's not too you know busy. Okay, so now we can add glue and put our album together. I'm just going to add glue to this side as well. I won't do too many because it's quite hot in here, so it will dry before I get to it. Yeah. And again, if it's a super hot day, just use tape. Yeah. 
Um, we've yeah, so like I say, we've got that that glue you're using there. We've actually got on the website with a reduction um, because we know what it's like, Helen. Whenever you use something, everyone wants it. <laughs> it's true. Yes, so, I get asked a lot about the glue I use. So. Yeah, because you're making something three dimensional. You need to make it, I suppose, grip quite quickly, but also really it strong. Does. Yes, this also doesn't make the paper wrinkle like some white glues do. Lovely. So that's primarily what I look for in any sort of glue. It has to dry quickly, so I'm not using pegs, and it doesn't wrinkle my paper either. So um, I really like with that one actually as well that the niz the nizzle, the nib or the nozzle. <laughs> <laughs> New word nizzle. How fine it is, and it doesn't clog, does it? No, it does. It does sometimes, but it's really, really easy just to unclog it. Yeah. Uh, you know, just the same. So, um, if you leave the top off, it will dry out, or just at the top. But you just need to get into the habit of putting your your lid back on, which is a good habit to be in, really. Yeah, definitely. So I can already see that shape coming together now. Okay, so I I am doing this super quickly. Of course, yeah. So you can do a much neater job from what I'm doing It looks here. neat from here. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now we have the basic shape for our camera. And this reminds me of a lovely art deco shape as well. You could turn this into a hip flask as mm -hmm. well. Definitely. There's so many different things that you can do with this shape. It doesn't have to be a camera. Okay, so let's move on now to this section we're going to be putting the lid on so I'm just going to take this is the lid here so we have these long sections so you need two of these I'm only going to glue one of the long sections onto the actual lid mm -hmm. and again I'm just going to try my best to line these up okay so this is what's going to get, be glued in the back there right, to so make like the flap your hinge is it that's right so I need to make some supporting areas now so we have all of these so these are going to match the panels size wise okay. of what you have from the sides so we have four long ones just like we have four of the wide ones yeah. they're sticking to my fingers and then two of the short ones so have you glued them two. already no i think my hands are just a bit hot and sticky. <laughs> <laughs> oh it happens it does happen <laughs> <laughs> okay so with one of the longer ones here. I'm going to glue them on the outside here. This is what's going to stop the lid collapsing yeah. inside the box. Right, really clever. Because I suppose otherwise the alternative would have to be to have a lip all the way around the lid, wouldn't it? And It would, yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Teresa Trump has said, I have most of these in my cart. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I would check them out because I think a lot of people are in the same position and you don't want to miss out on anything. Yes, I've, that's happened to me before. I've not been fast enough. Yeah. It's because we okay. sit and watch the demonstration, isn't it? So the rest, this is going to be glued onto there as well. I remember last week I was putting this together on uh, live on her chanda mm -hmm. and I messed this up. <laughs> I'm sure you can, I'm sure you can, um, Sympathise, Sympathise yes. definitely. We've, we've all <laughs> done it, absolutely. Did you recover it? I did, I did. Lovely. So any mistake, I think any mistake can be worked around one way or another. My biggest thing is usually doing card simple A tentfold card bases upside down. Ah, all I've done time. that too. <laughs> Nobody minds, really. We've all done it more than once. Okay, so I'm now adding these on here. So, oh, I... um, who was it said who was it said uh, Mandy Hobden said Helen you make it look so easy um, you do but I must say your dyes are always so simple to use and really easily explained as well yes I like to make things nice and simple so you can just make some really nice stuff um, it makes it easy for me as well to be honest I, I'll have a nice elaborate design but I'll only have the energy to make it once if yeah. that makes sense but that's but if i've got my own die set to do it i can make loads of them absolutely Definitely. okay so i have two here and then these smaller ones here go on the end so okay there are pictures of this on the website as well hopefully with the lid open if not i will make sure i will send another picture in just to help you get um this right so 
if you can you you might just be referring back to this live actually to put your camera box together good so idea just make, make a mental note or a pause or something like this and i'll put this down so you can have a look Absolutely. your tabs your tabs need to look like that okay so you've just not got two on those bottom two corners that's right i've left those two off okay so now this is the back flap here okay that is going to be glued onto the back I'm hoping the lighting's still okay in here. We can see. I can certainly see anyway. Hopefully everyone at home can still see what you're doing. It's a, it is actually, it, it comes together really quickly and simply. That's so I've lined that up. I'm just gonna press that down. I'm not going to move it at all now because it is a working hinge. It needs time to dry, especially in the corners here. So now we can pop on our shutter. Lovely. So- And that's from a previous- um, is that from a uh, previous collection there? Yes, it is. This is from the Surprise and Delight collection. Yes, that's what I thought. Um, just quickly, Michael Cooley has asked, um, he said, hello, everybody. Can we sell these on once we have made them? Yes, you can. So there's angel policy on them that you're free to sell on for charity or for profit. Yep, that's absolutely fine. Perfect. There okay, we go, so what I've done is I've opened up my shutter, lining it up with the hole and placing that on. There we go. And then that is going to close, but we just need to leave that time now for the glue to dry. So yeah. let's pop that aside now just to dry properly and let's move on to the flash. Okay. So I'm gonna add glue here to both sides of the the flaps in the middle and then this is going to fit on here i love these vintage style cameras yes uh, a lot of people do collect them as well and just um, to have lots of different sizes you can even make this an, as an ornament by gluing the tabs closed on this box and just have it on the shelf as, as an ornament home decor maybe Yes, it'll look really nice. Oh, I wonder if you could styles. put um, some LED lights or a tea light inside, either inside the flash or inside the main body and have it as a little side light. Yes, you probably could do, especially if you have the the panel open for the shutter. Yeah, that would be it cool, wouldn't maybe it? Maybe put some vellum behind it or something. Yeah, well, there's some ideas there. for everyone. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gluing this shut now. There's a lot of gluing in, in a lot of my projects, so That's I'd fine. like to know what people um, like to use as adhesive. Do they go for wet glue or red tape? So um, given that the red tape has sold out on Craft Sash, I think well, we had very low stocks. <laughs> I think that's very, very popular. But personally, I like wet glue because you've got that movement afterwards. You do. Um, just for a minute or so, if, if that even. So, um, yeah, so wet glue for me. So we've got Cosmic Shimmer on the website reduced. We've also got hot glue guns. Do you use a hot glue gun, Helen? Yes, I'm just about to, actually. I have the C6 one here. Um, Lovely, so that's the C6 one. This is, this is my all-time favourite. <laughs> so, I mean, hot glue's amazing because, of course, it's instant grab and they hold so much like all the different materials you can glue things where wet glue just won't do it okay so i've got the lid on now and now we can put the flash on so make sure you have your foil at the front and then i'm just going to fold everything in and then a lot I'm just of people add... saying pull out sorry i don't mean to talk over you that's all right i'm just going to add some glue now just to all of the flaps mm -hmm. And then get that down. I think, oops, I went over there. Because you can sort of remove that usually afterwards as well, can't you, once it's cooled? You can. Oh, look at that. That's amazing. Isn't that brilliant? And that reflective mirror card on the front there is fantastic. A lot of people are saying they love Kalal as well. Yes, I, I have used Kalal as well. That's my emergency glue. Your I have an order. Glue. <laughs> I, <laughs> I have an order I use my glues in. Right. Okay, so here we have our camera box that's ready to go now. 
that's amazing so quick so i know you i know you put the pattern papers on first and everything but that has just come together super super quickly really um and of course you can change the colors as well can't you and decorate it as much or as little as you want to you can yes and uh, this is one of my unfinished albums that i made on hachanda last week but i have started decorating it with the same papers so that is going to pop into the camera box just like that perfect that's just, that just fits so perfectly i love i absolutely love it there's i've not seen anything else like that on the market anywhere it's so so clever now am i right in thinking you have another demonstration for us yes i do we're going to be making the suitcase and the memory index cards oh lovely amazing can't wait to see them to come together so what i'm going to do i'm just going to pop back and show everybody the products that you've used to do this okay. while you get ready for that one okay thank you very much okay so let's have a look at my on my desk here let's just pop the camera down so these are all the new products that helen's been working with i say all of them um she's not using everything at once of course first of all these papers absolutely beautiful so we've got in here um there's 12 double-sided sheets of paper and there's all the different designs and they're like I say, double-sided, you've got to see some of these. I mean, look at that. Denim, that looks like a concrete there. We've got the leather in both brown and black. It looks like real leather, doesn't it? You just, you want to feel it to see if it's got that texture, but I promise you it's all perfectly smooth. So if you want to do your stamping on it, for example, I mean, these are just like absolutely stunning photographs of those textures, those materials. And, oh, and I've got to show you the wood grain as well beautiful now these are going to work very very well with all of the new snapshot collection but they are also going to work perfectly with um absolutely everything else you've ever used really um because they're really generic there's no wording on them so you can use them for any occasion wherever you just need a nice background then we've got the stamp set and again i love these i think the sentiments you can clearly read those can't you but the sentiments are so clever perfect for this snapshot collection but actually you're going to be using these all the time okay um i love i think look smiles from ear to ear living my best life um best day ever don't lose focus oh, just brilliant absolutely love them now if you want the chance of picking one of these sets up for free you just need to pop £30 worth of the new snapshot collection into your basket, okay? Really, really easy to do. And do you know what? When you start looking through the collections on there and the bundles we've got as well in that bargain section is the easiest way to find it all. You're going to have no problem spending up to £30 at all. So going backtracking a bit on collections, we've got the split box editions die set. If you've already got the split box, you'll know how this works. It's one of her pre it's Helen's previous collection so this then adds on to that set we've got this here then we've got the luggage edition set now i can already see um on the video call that helen's going to be working with this next so i won't say too much about this one but really cleverly works with that suitcase um and other things as well i suppose lots of other things we've got the baby's accessories die set too so lots of embellishments in there including your sentiments and your icons a good size as well with these so beautiful for using for your baby makes something you've got christenings you've got newborns you've got first second birthdays and things as well then we've got that mini album. So we just saw Helen use the mini album right at the very end. It was one she'd already started putting together and she popped it into the camera case. Now, of course, you can use the mini album completely on its own if you want to. And there's the die set for that. 17 dies in total. We've got a lot in there, including that snapshot die there too. And then we have that camera set that Helen was just using. So this is that box that looks like a camera. But if you don't want to do the camera elements, so if you don't want to do the flash or the aperture on the front, you can actually just use it as a solid box. You've got everything. It really, uh, it's actually a funky shaped, I'm trying to work out, it's an octagon, isn't it? Octagonal shaped box. But um, as Helen was saying, very art deco in shape if you want to. So there's lots of ways you can be using that away from the camera theme too. 
Then we have the frame. Now, of course, if you're taking photos, um, you need frames to put them in. And what about making your own frames? So we've got the six by four box frame set here. Really simple to put together. And we have those sentiment dies as well. And then the other size, which works really well with this, is the five by seven. And Helen did show as a fantastic home decor piece where she'd laid or glued together a couple of these frames, sort of staggered them and put photos inside and put a sentiment in and it looked beautiful. So this one has the word family and friends in there and you get the corner dies as well. So there's seven dies in total in there. And lastly, before we go back to Helen's demonstration, we have that hexagonal exploding box die set. So um, I'm sure Helen's got some video tutorials coming very soon on how to put this together. Um, but it's really simple to see. You can go down in the sizes. You've got all the bases there. You've got all the side panels. You can make your lids as well on whichever sizes you want to. So there's lots in here. Now there's 25 dies in here. And don't forget, we are also not only giving you amazing prices on these brand new products, but we're also then bundling some together that work really well together just so that you can um, get the best deal and pick up more than one set for you. Don't forget while you're over on Craft Stash as well, popping these in your basket, check out the deal of the day. But I've also got to say to you as well, if you're thinking about children's crafting, we have got 10% off children's crafts, okay? So we've got coloring books, we've got activity books on there as well. Um, we've got lots of different craft kits for children, 10% off everything. If you go into that bargain section, there is a whole section there. So think about the summer holidays. Think about your, your staycations. Think about going to that caravan this year that we're doing. Um, maybe you need to take some things with you to entertain the children. This is the perfect place to pick them up. Alternatively, think about stocking fillers. It is that time of year, I'm sorry. Think about stocking fillers. Really, really amazing prices on your children's crafting. So let's see. Um, Helen, are you ready for us again? Yes, yes, I am. She is lovely. Thank you. So we've now got. We, wow, we've only we've got fifteen minutes, but I won't push you for time because we have overrun before. Um, so, what are you making? You're you're using that that set there that I was just talking about. Yes. Okay. So we're going to be using the luggage editions die set, which is basically a memory index system, mm -hmm. and we're going to be making the half size today. So it's, we're going to be making another version of this. It's going to be a baby version. Do you know what? Okay. That, that looks like MDF. From here, it looks really sturdy. I'm going to show you exactly what we're going to be doing to make it sturdy as well. So I have some chipboard pieces here. So if you want to, you can get some feet as well. I got these from eBay just to make Lovely. this really, really nice looking on the, on the side. Perfect. Okay. So for this, I'm going to be using the suitcase die set and the luggage additions die set. And I'm going to be using just one half of the suitcase. So I only need to cut one of these. Okay. So would you usually cut two of the same die to do the top and the base? Yes, you would, yes. So my, my most recent video, uh, live video, will be me making the full suitcase and the cards that go inside. I was just looking, you're talking about those feet. Um, I've just been looking inside the five by seven box frame. You've actually got some corners in there. And I'm just wondering if you cut those a few times, could you actually make similar looking feet to those metal ones? Yes, you from could, those yeah. corners. So I'm just gonna hold this up to um, the camera there. You can just see me in the bottom corner. Um, so the box die set, the five by seven, has got friends and family written on it. Just here, we've got a little corner piece, and I think that looks very similar to those feet that um, Helen was just talking about. Okay, you've sparked an idea there. <laughs> so, in the actual luggage set here, you get this die here. Mm -hmm. So if you turn that upside down, this is, this is supposed to go on the outside of the box, but if you turn this round, that would make a good foot as well. So you Of could course it would, absolutely. Underneath. So that's also included in the same die set. So everything works together. <laughs> it does. Okay, so let's run this through. So this is definitely going to be um, a large format machine here that you're going to need. So let's run that through. So what do you use? What What's your large machine? I use a Gemini. A fantastic. So um, I think we've got some deals on the machines as well. Check that out too, um, because we know machines are a considered purchase, aren't they? We think about it a lot. So I can hear that's an electronic one, not a manual one. Um, there's lots of deals on all the time on machines. 
actually, whether it's something like I have a uh, scissors to the big stop class. That's my go-to big machine. Um, but that's really, so the Gemini is just really quick and simple. Okay, I'm just taking all this off now. Okay, I've gone for thick white cardstock, but you can use any colour you want. I just thought white would coordinate nicely with the colours. So just getting all the bits off there. So I'm just going to fold all of the corners and I'm going to use a bone folder as well just to press everything down. Mm -hmm. Just securing those lines. We've got so many people saying they love your demonstration. So, um, Teresa, hello. Um, oh, 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 I've got so many people. It just keeps scrolling through. <laughs> oh, thank um, you, everyone. Hello to Chloe. Hello to uh, Belinda Blakely, yep. Pippa Smith, Cheryl Thomas. Um, do, 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 people I haven't said hello to first Carol Lewis, Laura Ann there's just load, loads of people and then everybody's loving your demonstration so much ah thank you oh Debbie okay. Seeley calls her Gemini Jemmy Jemmy, uh, Jemmy I haven't given mine any, any nicknames at all yet so it's like naming a car isn't it <laughs> okay so I'm just adding glue to all of these so the Additions track is designed to go the full length of this suitcase mm -hmm. from top to bottom, top to bottom. And there is a little notch. I will get the die out because it will be easier to show you with the die. There is a, oh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> so many dies. There's a notch here right. where, you'd, cut, where you'd, you'd die cut this out and cut it. So that will be to use your tracks that way ah so would that be for those larger panels like the one you've just taken out there yes yeah so it will probably be easier if i show you on the suitcase here so the smaller ones are these ones here and they just they just come out like this so the smaller ones are designed for the double track yeah and then we have the double track at the back as well that's so clever. And then I've even used a photograph with this die to cut out. Oh, the actual photograph. The actual photograph. So on all of these dies, you can use them pulled on directly onto the photographs. So Just remember that these go at the bottom. Yes. Yeah. So presumably you can do things like, I don't know, if you've got envelopes and tags and things, could you cut those notches into the bottom of them? to attach them to your rails. Yes, so um, let me just turn this upside down. It's upside uh, down, uh, there's nothing. I'm nothing waiting for it all to fall out. out. <laughs> <laughs> so it's perfect for the suitcase because the suitcase gets turned on its side and it's like that. Of course. So, 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 so wouldn't I'm that using, make an amazing gift? It would make a perfect gift. And even if you're making a Christmas version of this, just have this on your sideboard, people could just flick through. Yeah. So my headphone just fell out of my ear. <laughs> yeah, that is, it's back in now. Okay, so using the tray version means that you can go for a height. So these are snugly put in here. As you can see, they're the height there. So you can't yeah. really add any extras onto it. Mm -hmm. But when you have the open top, you can really build up your layers. I'll show you here. So I have photographs right, popping yes. up over the top there. I see. Yeah, of course. You can go as high as you want, I suppose. You can, yes. So let's make this nice and sturdy now. So I have some bits of chipboard here. Now, I've taken this chipboard from the back of my paper pad. So all of my paper pads come with a bit of chipboard behind it. So right. I've just cut it up to the size just the I backing, need. Just the backing sheet that comes with it. Yeah, just the backing. So you can use it for, um, you know, like some paper pads come with the cardboard bit at the back yep. you can use that in your crafting as well I like to use them for my mini album covers too mm -hmm. so this uh this mini album was made with the same chipboard clever okay so I'm going to be moving over to the denim now so again I'm using the denim from the textures card pack love it. absolutely love it and I've cut these to size already so I'm going to turn it over because 
just going to make sure I have the right one here. Uh -huh. So all we've got to do is glue that on and then trim it out. Okay. While you're gluing that, I just need to remind everybody, you can win some of Helen's brand new collection. So there's a few ways of winning. We had a post earlier in the week. Make sure you're always commenting on that post as well, usually around Tuesday or Wednesday. We have a post announcing what the live is going to be and telling you how you can win. It's usually a quick comment, that's all. Um, so we'll announce very shortly the winner of that. If you're commenting on this live video today, um, where are we? Friday the 31st of July at 1pm. If you're commenting right now, then you could be in the chance with the chance of winning. There's three winners winning a selection of the new products. And then after the live, when you pop over to Craft World, there's another chance to win the full collection. Okay, so make sure you go from here over to craftworld.com. Um, sign up if you've not done so already. I know, Helen, you're on Craft World, aren't you? I am, yes. Yeah, it's, I, I absolutely love it. I love how friendly everyone is. Um, whether I want to share a card I've made or whether I want to complain that my dog's just ruined something of mine. Everyone there is so friendly <laughs> and chatty. Okay, so I'm just gluing these onto the sides now. You can also cut another one for the centre as well. So this is going to really give you a nice sturdy box to have on display because once you have something like this, that people can look through everyone's going to want to have a look so yes, absolutely this would be really nice as well as um, a recipe box or um, yes perfect a kitchen yeah and to keep your names and addresses and telephone numbers and things yes you can even just do it for the traditional purposes yeah i do love the photo idea though like an album or a memory book so okay, you're using so your wet glue again yes the last one on you can sponge uh the end the uh, edges as well yeah I've, done, I've added some brown there okay okay so now we have a lovely sturdy box and again you could pop some another bit of chipboard in in the middle mm -hmm. or underneath as well so right let's move on to the fun bit now so we're going to be making the track system so let me just grab some card so um, while you're grabbing that and cutting that bit, um, some of these are, let me just scroll back and find, uh, Mandy Hobden has asked, um, she loves your cutting tool, what was it? This one, this is uh, Fisker's uh, finger thumb tool, you put your, yeah, and then you press down. So Fisker's. It's super easy. Lovely, I have to see whether that's on Craft World. Um, they're really handy, aren't they, for getting around corners and things as well. Yeah, it's super sharp as well. Can you okay. change the blades on them? You can. Just I think it's just a normal scalpel blade. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Nice and easy. Oh, so many comments still coming in. Um, everyone's actually saying how they love the craft world. Everyone's helpful um, and really friendly over there as well. Um, Drop of sunshine, Mark. Martha, is it? Um, you're over there as Drop of sunshine. So I'll make sure I find you on there. Um, yeah, it's a great place to make crafty friends as well. Okay, so here's my track. Okay, so all we have to do now is just fold everything down. Mm -hmm. And I found using red tape for this one is a lot easier. Okay. So I just need to get all of my score lines in. Is that easier because it's a smaller size tab? So how do you mean? You oh, said... for this bit here, yes, it's very skinny. So right. it needs a little bit of help. Okay. And as you can see, you might not be able to see this, but there's a little bit of a notch just here. That oh, is yes. where you would that would be where you'd cut it if you were going sideways. Thought of everything. <laughs> yeah, it just saves us having to do two separate dies to, the, to do the same thing. We just need a shorter one. Okay, so grab your red tape. Have you got any tips or tricks for lifting up the backing of red line tape? I do, yes. Oh, With amazing. Any... I thought you were going to say, not really. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so the trick is with any sort of uh, tape, even like the, the white one as well, is always to press it down really right. well. That pushes it into the fibres of the card. That does one thing on the one side, and on the other side, it makes it easier to lift. Ah, love. look at that. So easy. Okay, so what I'm going to do is have a quick dry run first. 
if you don't get this right the first time, just practice. You may, you may go through a couple of bits of card, but it's worth perseverance just so that you can get the, the knack of it. So it's going to be glued together like that. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little strip off at the top there and fold it to the side. Yeah. And then get everything in place. And then press that down. Oops, that came off. Squeeze that down. There we go. Then get everything else in line. And then we pull that. it out and press it down. Nice and easy. And June Woodhouse has said she uses her pokey tool to lift up double sided tape. I must admit, I do that yes. as well if I'm not using finger lift. That is. Um, very easier to do as uh, a lot easier to do my like, well there's something wrong with my grammar today that Here is a lot go. easier to do <laughs> <laughs> we're both so it's friday the weekend um, there we go so there is our track so that is now ready to be glued into the center and i have a card here already that's going to help me center this okay. so i know i have an even space both of sides of course it just every, every little thing like that just helps to get things straight and nice and neat absolutely and that's half the reason we do these lives every friday at one o'clock so we can demonstrate the product and show you the the best way of using it when you get it home fiona rag has just said she treated herself to the camera mini box or sorry camera box and album and she's really excited so um and we're getting lots of chat about craft world as well on here <laughs> i love reading through the comments i just wish i could do both watch watch the demonstration and read the comments at the same time okay so i just need to die cut one more piece out because i want to show you that you can use this die with all your patterned paper as well so we're going to be using the medium die for the one that goes that way can i just ask do you put those on before you attach the rail or can you you can presumably slot them in and out afterwards yes you can slot them i've used one to help me guide it in yeah so i get the equal space but then you can then um, once that's in place then you can add the rest of them and they just um just twist very slightly like that sorry i probably missed that when i was reading comments miss seeing you do that <laughs> there so we easy. go thank you okay Okay, I'm just going to quickly grab my Big Shot out again. Mm -hmm. So you're cutting that from um, a different paper this time? Yes, I'm going to be using the same paper pad, but I'm going to go for the baby pink Lovely. stuff. You so, uh, love that. so uh, the presenter on her channel last week knew what uh, stitch this was. I think she could say pearl, pearl or oh, paper. Yeah, pearl, knit pearl. Pearl, yeah. And there's knit and there's pearl, isn't there? There is. I can only do knit. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the presenter? Can I ask? Uh, I can't remember her name now. <gasps> uh, it was the blonde. She has blonde short hair. Haley. Uh, no, the other one. Catherine. <laughs> That's the one. Catherine Sturrock. Yes. <laughs> Catherine's an old friend. There we go. So we now have double sided. So. The sturdier your card, the better they seem to stand up nicely Okay. in here. Okay, so all we've got to do now is just add that on. Perfect. How easy is that? And I mean, th those papers are 250 GSM, 250. So they're going to be absolutely perfect for those cards and even layering on top as well, aren't they? That's right. So I think we've, we've run out of time now, but I would perf this, this die set here, the baby accessories uh, die set, would be perfect to use alongside this baby themed tray so um yeah i have absolutely. photographs here as well you can just add those on there and just for another close-up of those lovely creatures we have the bunny and the teddy bear the abc love that as well and that's so just that's, using two two different color papers as well that's right that's Gorgeous. right so if you ever need to know how to assemble these this tells you exactly how they go together. It's kind of like a little map so you can work out where all of the little pieces go. Oh, of course, with the light and the dark. I get it. That's right. So you can build up your picture exactly how you want to. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you so much for showing us everything, Helen. That's been absolutely brilliant. Um, I've loved it. I know we're going to put this video on YouTube. 
later on so you can always catch up on Crafts Dash YouTube channel. Um, but also you said you've got your own YouTube channel, so that's Helen Griffin UK. And I know you use a lot of your Simply Made products there, um, doing lots and lots of different techniques and tutorials. That's right, yes. Lovely. We've got your face so we can say goodbye now. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us and we will catch up with you again very soon. Lovely. Thank you. Take Bye, care. Everyone. Bye bye. Ah, oh, it's lovely, Helen. So, um, yes, yeah, so I'm sure you are equally as inspired by all of Helen's demonstrations as I am with her brand new sta snapshot collection. I have some winners to announce. So we're just about two o'clock, just past it. So actually, Helen did really well there to keep to the time um, because I'm always, you know what I'm like, I'm always overrunning. So she's done better than I have. So thank you all for joining us and thank you for commenting. So the winner of last week's Craft World competition. So last week, we had made to surprise. Remember that brand new collection from Sam Calcott? Really, really clever collection there with the sliders. So over on Craft World, we held the competition where you could win the entire collection. And the winner of that is, it's a handle, so it's at Shirls. So it's S-H-I-R-L-S. -S. If this is you at Shirls, congratulations. You've won that entire collection. Um, the best thing I would say to you is if you're over there, um, message Hillary Community Manager and she can arrange for this prize to be sent out for you or drop me a message on there if you want to as well obviously just Lou Collins um, and then the Facebook post so um, earlier in this week we we always put this post up so you can win some of this brand new collection I believe it's a die and stamp set that you'll be winning and the winner is Barbara Phillips congratulations to Barbara and now we have the three from today. There's lots of win There's winners everywhere. This is like over £155 worth of prizes. Every week we give away amazing big prizes. So make sure you're joining us every Friday without fail. So we've got um, on Craft World, let me just see. So we've got two from Facebook, one from Craft World. So I have two na full names. We have Susan Sheltram. Hope you're still watching, Susan. Congratulations. You've won some product. Um, message the Craft Stash Facebook page and we can arrange that to come out to you. Natalie Lewis as well. Congratulations to you. You're our second winner. And then we also have on over on Craft World at Tweety. So at Tweety, you've also won some of this brand new collection. Again, I'd say message Hillary Community Manager. You'll all know of her. You've seen her on there a lot. Um, or drop me a message with your address and we'll pass that on and get your prizes out to you. Now, talking of Craft World, you can pop on over to Craft World as well now. And there is a huge collection uh, sorry a huge competition on there in fact one thing I did forget to ask Helen about um, and I meant to because I've just seen it's happening now is her craft along so Helen is hosting a craft along herself um, I wish I'd asked her now all the details she knows them all but I know so if you've ever seen a craft along on craft world you simply buy your bundle of products at a really reduced price from craft stash that will secure your place on the online class and Helen will teach you how to make something one-to-one. -one. You can ask her questions as you craft along with her. So that's taking place very soon. Pop over to Craft World on the homepage. You should see that banner up there and that will give you all the details. It's really, really exciting. So next week, of course, I am going to be back again with another amazing product and with fantastic giveaways. So make sure you're using craft world to keep up with us during the week and we will be telling you over there what is happening on the fridays and i will definitely see you on tuesday for my what's hot that's going to be at 2 p.m with my favorite products that have just come into craft stash and always get an amazing discount on them as well so take care everybody i will see you all very soon have an amazing amazing weekend so see you soon bye bye <laughs>